Hi, my name is Dennis Schleicher and I'm with Wind TV and I'm here at the Connecticut State Capitol and I have the wonderful and amazing honor of interviewing our very own Lieutenant Governor Nancy Wyman. So I welcome you to come into the State Capitol while you see a private interview with Nancy Wyman. Come on with me. Nancy, welcome. And thank I wanna you. Thank you so much for having us here. Thank today. you for coming and visiting. I love it. This is great. This yeah. is great. This is one of our biggest tourist attractions. Is our state capital. I love it. It's and it's great. been. It's funny because it's been quite a few years since I've been here. It's been about twenty years. And so walking through today, it made me think that I should really be visiting this office more often. Yes, visiting absolutely. And we so. we love this office. We love the state capital. We have been, I've been to many other states and none of, none of them are as pretty as this one. That's great, that's great. That's so Nancy, the purpose of our interview today is we're supposed to talk about Connecticut tourism and how many wonderful things Connecticut has to offer as far as uh, people that live in this state like ourselves who mm -hmm. haven't even visited some of the places yet. That's true. And as well as people coming from out of state. So. Um, first of all, last year we, we met, we did a Facebook Live yes, we did. at the Connecticut Authors and Publishers booth. And that was wonderful. Dr. Seuss. Right, but Dr. And Seuss was there and all the authors are in Connecticut, which was fantastic. Um, our state is populated by authors and we didn't know, even know about it. So. That's amazing. It really That's is. Amazing. And it's wonderful to see. Well, actually, I'm the uh, PR director for the Connecticut Authors and Publishers Association. Uh -huh. So, and I volunteer doing that. And we That's have uh, more celebrity authors per square mile than any other state in the U.S. That's fantastic. I love hearing that. Which is amazing. So, it really is. And there's a lot of literary agents and uh, children's authors. All right. So anyway, let's talk about um, the, the, the biggie and uh, the Facebook, that's coming mm, up. It is wonderful, One, a wonderful event. And of course, I love Connecticut Day uh, when all the Connecticut residents come there to see really what's part of back home in Connecticut, where yes. we see everything that's going on from the authors back to people that are, are producing wine in our state. Yes. You know, we have an unbelievable state to people to come to visit. We do, we do. And you know, last year I had the opportunity of doing some beer and wine tasting mm. uh, from local breweries. Yes. And I also had to taste the lobster roll. Oh, was, it was really tough job you had. Tough really. Job. It really, beer, it, wine, it, and lobster. It, it, I just, you know, that's tough. It that's really tough. is. <laughs> but you know, our interview on Facebook that we did is still trending. Is it really? So that's, no, that's nice. Cool. I hope I look the same, so I didn't age this year. Not no. at all. You look Good. beautiful, no, as always. You. You're, you're, you're wonderful. Thank so, you. So, Lieutenant Governor. Um, we, let's talk about um, what I like to do when I visit my favorite tourist attraction is I like to hashtag CT visit because yes. hashtag is actually even before my time because we didn't even have, we had pagers when I was in school oh, and I never even had one of those. But um, now everything's about hashtag this, hashtag that. But for Connecticut, it's hashtag CT visit. Yes. So we want to encourage people that when they're visiting their favorite tourist attractions, whether it be restaurants, coffee shops, uh, trails, trails, which I love to go hiking. There's lots of wonderful yeah, trails from really New are. England and Connecticut is to always hashtag CT visit because you never know when the Department of Tourism or Arts and Entertainment will pick that up on their site. And it's also very helpful to have that there so that other people coming in from out of state say, OK, we'll go hashtag CT visit and see what's there and see exactly where are people within that state to go to visit or people that come from other places. So I think this is a great idea. That's wonderful. Now, um, today I would like to talk to you about the uh, New England Air Museum in Windsor Locks, mm -hmm. Connecticut. What a great museum. I've been there a few times to just to see the history, you know, and the fact that history every day in the state is being made by the same company that we're showing, the Cayman. Uh, Pratt & Whitney, Sikorsky, they are still functioning in our state and now you can see the history of where they came from and what they produced back many, many decades, decades ago. ago. It's a wonderful place to be. People should just take the time, take the kids there. Yeah. My, my grandchildren absolutely love to see all of the, uh, they even have balloons, flying balloons and you know, it, it's just a great place to I be. I love it. Yeah. Lieutenant Governor, I mean, it's really, really an honor to be able to visit um, these these places that are right in our own backyard because um, I, I, I 
don't remember if you remember back in, I believe it was 76 or 78, we had a tornado yes, touchdown. Yes, we did. And um, I was, um, I will never forget people seeing on the news, people had huge uh, B-52, um, uh, uh, what are they called, wheels that were landing miles away in their backyard. Right. And right. it was devastating, but the state came together and and really rebuilt that and and yeah, because it had taken totally taken out the air museum, yes, you know, and wiped it out. And in fact, it was in the home uh, area of our former governor at that time, and it was it was Governor Grasso, our first Grasso. woman uh, yes. governor elected on her own in the country, and she didn't want to be wait waited to be picked up. Mm -hmm. So during the storm, she got up and she started to walk. She wanted to go to take see what was going on in the district not too far from her. So it, 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 you know, it's something that we all remember on a certain date and where we were and what was going on. But you know, Connecticut is probably much different than many other states because you can go to the northeast to the, to the south southwest or the northwest to the southeast, and you're going to constantly see different things. You're going to go from the mountains down to the down to the oceans. You don't have that in other states. No, you, you know, in this state, we have history and the, the trails and we'll talk about the we can talk about the trails if you love to like to just walk you don't even have here to, for days oh my goodness and you trails. can eat all the way through yes. beer and pizza wine yes. and then of going of course you can go through and, and see every kind of um i think farmer's market you want in almost any part of the state right now in this season That's so great. every town every town has their farmer's market. Yes. And if you want to get fresh vegetables or fresh foods there, that's the place to go. Go early in the morning and go see it. I love that. Yeah. Now, I understand Coventry is one of your favorite farmers. Yes, farmers it is. Well, it's right by my house. Yes. I live in Tolland, and so my husband likes to get up in the morning. We go over there as soon as it opens, go through it. And we don't only buy, I must admit, vegetables. We buy some good candy and I love, uh, love it. Love everything they have. Don't you miss yeah. the penny shops when they had the? Uh, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah. I um, my parents had a summer house in uh, West Hill Lake, which is in oh. New Hartford, and oh, they really? used to have a shop that was, um, you know, a little red shack, and the bell used to ding, and it was like little house on the prairie. Oh, that's you know, great! The jars we get the penny candy, and, and the interesting part is in Tolland, right on the green, we have the red and white mm -hmm. store. So people do go in, and they can buy the candy that way, too. So you should come to Tolland and, and see to, it. I'll have to bring a film really through and fun. come visit it. They would, they would love it. It's, There's um, two women that have reopened it again, and uh, it's it's great. Wonderful. So. But we're all throughout state, and I don't want to only press my town, but through all the towns, yes. so you'll find something different. Go to Bristol and, and, and look at a clock yes. uh, a museum. Nobody thinks about a clock museum, right? Yes. Yeah, and there they have it in Bristol. So, you know, you can go to almost any town and really find out about history. Yes. Um, you know, all the different homes that people lived at. And, yeah. you know, it, it really is. A, a Mark Twain. Mark Twain home. Famous right? author in, Absolutely. In, 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 on Farmington Avenue. Right, you know, absolutely. Or, or Harriet Beecher Stowe, right next yes. door. Um, so we, you know, when you look at the history of our country, you can find it right here, right here. and at the same time. You find the new things that are going on, like the wine trails and the, yes. you know, the beer trails, and the, you know, coming out and just seeing different things that are going on in the state right now. Now, I understand a little birdie told me, and I'm may not supposed to say this, but um, we can talk a little secret here, I guess. Uh, you and I have never visited the Windsor Locks. Locks. No, I and haven't. So um, I am dying to go experience that. And, and uh, I've been talking about that, too, and I found out about it. I had not known about it, and so I'm going to suggest that to my husband. Yes. It'll be a great walk, because we love to walk together. So I love it. that would be it. great. My father, um, I live in Glastonbury, but my father... Um, launches in Hartford and he has a small little boat oh, and it's nice. flat so when we were children we would go up there but we would have to get out in, in the fall when the water was low mm -hmm. and he would have to walk and it would be up to his knees and lift up the boat and bring really? it and then we'd be able to put the motor in and go and then if you do that long enough you can actually get to Canada really you know? uh, but That's it's not wonderful. the whole way it's smooth sailing through other areas, but just through the locks in Windsor. Yeah, that's um, got to be exciting to do. And I, and I apologize to Windsor, but I will be there. Because they, they are known as the oldest, and yes. they believe to be the oldest 
town. They believe to be the oldest town uh, in the state. I know there's discussions between other towns, but. Hey, you know, it's, um, everybody has, you know, their own thing. But, you know, <laughs> I just found out there's something really interesting in Windsor that Connecticut, um, um, that some of the first witch trials in the 1600s took place in Windsor, Connecticut. Really? So the mayor just dedicated a statue. Um, and there's an author, Beth Caruso, who wrote a book on it and did a documentary. So it's really, the history is, you know, you don't need to go to Salem, Massachusetts. No, you know, you know, no. Yeah. No, we we don't. Connecticut or, you I'm know, other you, areas. And any town that you yes. go to, you really do find the history. Exactly. Uh, it's, it's different than most states that you, you know, some states have the history all in one area. Yes. We have it throughout. Uh, districts and towns. So back to the Big E. Yes. Um, it's October 15th through the yes. 1st, and I know yeah. you love to go. I do. Uh, I run into you there on occasion once in a while, and yes, every I now and then I'll say, do you mind if we have a photo together? <laughs> um, and you're always so grateful. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's um, we really want to encourage people to visit the Connecticut building because the history behind the Connecticut right. building, it's an exact replica of the old state house in Connecticut, yes, which was is. just reopened. So we want to make sure that people can experience that through the Big E. And yeah. I just found out through Rose and Rhonda, who run our um, Connected Department of Tourism and Arts. They're wonderful. Aren't they wonderful? wonderful? I've been working with them for years. And they're great people. They're, they're wonderful, wonderful people. But we just had 4.2 million visits to ctvisit.com. Oh, that's fantastic. And that's just this summer. Wow, So that that's goes to tell you that Connecticut tourism is really starting to pick up and then that's a big business in our state and we're so happy about it because we want to share our state with people we yes. want people to come to our state and the the uh, uh, the department of tourism is a fantastic they have really got into making sure that people understood we you're welcome here our arms are open to you we want you to learn about us we want you to come to us, bring your families with us, yes. and come back again. And we're a family-friendly state. Absolutely. And it's uh, and I found this brochure in your front office, yes. in your waiting room. Um, yeah, this is actually going to be displayed at the Big E. We'll be giving these out. These show right. all the tourism attractions that you can visit in Connecticut. So I, I just we we put them out for, there every year when the new one comes out. You'll find that out there because people do come in to visit my office as a. Uh, a place of tourism, and, and so they had that to uh, go around and say, hey, oh. there's someplace else that I'd like to go to visit I never thought I could just walk in and visit your office. I always thought <laughs> I needed an appointment. So that's, yeah, this is that's, great to have you here. You know, we nice. have an o we try to do an open door, and we want people to come into their capital. It is their capital, um, and if they're visiting from out of state, come on and see ours. Absolutely. We're really proud of our capital. Oh, building. that's great. So, um, again, we just like to remind people when they visit their favorite Connecticut tourist spot to hashtag, hashtag CTVisit, CT okay. um, or they can go to CTVisit.com and find out all the local tourist attractions, mm -hmm. and farmer's markets are always up there. That's for and sure. And the Biggie, the Connecticut building, will has its own Facebook page as well, so you can find out all the vendors that will be there, because each day vendors do change. Yes, they do change. And, and so... It's an amazing time in that building, from, oh. from, 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 like we said, the books to the wine to the food to just the educational portion of it. You know, it, it, uh, it's fantastic. The Connecticut authors will be there the whole time, and I will they be are. there open to close. So you that's never great. know when our viewers walk in and I could be giving out one of your pens or oh, that's a gift or maybe <laughs> a selfie with Dennis or something. Okay, uh, that sounds a great that. idea, so, Dennis. Um, I just wanted to thank you very much and thank remind you. our viewers that Connecticut Day is September 20th, yeah. but they're allowed to come to the Connecticut building up until the October 1st. Right. And to again, when visiting your local tourist attractions, whether it be the Air Museum or uh, whether it be hiking or farmer's market, like our Lieutenant Governor um, said that she loves to do, you never know when you'll find her in your <laughs> neck of the woods. She could be up in Litchfield or Greenwich at the local yeah. farmer's market with her husband. Uh, she's extremely approachable, as you can Thank see. You. So don't hesitate to walk up and say hi. Yeah. You know, um, that'd, be, that'd be great. I've known her <laughs> for a while that. and she's a, a fantastic lady. So Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor. Thank you for, for coming in and, and please come to Connecticut. Well, 
That was an awesome interview, and I want to thank you so much for joining us. But I also want to remind you as a viewer to please hashtag CT visit when visiting your local tourist attractions, whether it be in Windsor, Connecticut, or Greenwich, Connecticut, or Mystic, Connecticut, or anywhere in Connecticut, because you could be picked up by our site, and it could go social. You never know. We look forward to seeing you next time. Again, it's Dennis Schleicher. Talk to you soon.